Hey guys, we got a bunch of new content in Hockey Ultimate Team, including three new North American Team of the Season players. We're going to break all those down, as well as the new sets that we're going to discuss. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. Just do it right now. Just go give it a like. All right, let's get into it. All right, we're going to start first with Matthew Kachuk because he did get a 99 primetime, which boosted his Team of the Season up to 99. And that's relevant because he can finally skate in the game. That is right. We have a 99 skating Matthew Kachuk at 6'2 and 99 everything. You can even play him at center with 92 faceoffs. And he's got some fun ability. He's got no contest, which is actually a pretty decent one. I think it's overlooked a lot. He's got truculence. He's got born leader. He's got unstoppable force. Really, really good combo here. And finally, we get a useful Matthew Kachuk that can actually skate. We also got a 94 Rasmus Dahlin primetime. This one has workhorse and bombarded with elite edges and... Heat Seeker, not really all that great in all honesty for a 94 overall. He has good size. Obviously, his team of the season will upgrade. That has definitely more impact because he should be able to gain an acceleration and speed boost to that. Um, so obviously, that is going to be uh, pretty, pretty impactful. We'll take a look and see if there's any team of the season Dalians on the market. And there is for about 240,000, isn't I mean, that's not bad considering his size at uh, six foot two. Uh, and his skating will increase. They might give him a charity card at some point, but still a pretty decent card. All right, we got an upgrade to John Carlson. He's up to a 96, and his 96 team of the season is real nice. Six foot three, 216, Spark Distributor, and then he's got Thief or Workhorse, which can get his acceleration up to 95. Gold Seeing Eye, make it snappy, but then he's got Tape to Tape, Stick him Up, 1T, and Heat Seeker, so a nice combo here. And John Carlson, definitely one of the better right-handed defensemen in the game for the remainder of the season as they will make the playoffs, so he will get some upgrades at some point. Wyatt Johnson got a Team of the Year boost with a 93 Stars of the Month card. We'll take a look at his Team of the Year card with Quick Draw, Close Quarters, Big Tipper, Unstoppable Force, Elite Edges, and No Contest. This gets him up to 94 skating and essentially high 90 everything else. The actual Stars of the Month card is pretty good if you are just, you know, messing around in Hut now. Maybe you're a, a Spitfire fan. He's got tape to tape, wheels, and quick pick. Uh, decent abilities and decent stats. So he's going to be very cheap regardless because non-Team of the Year cards are just falling really far in price. So a fun card here. Then we've got the 93, William DeFore from the QMJHL. He's got Distributor and Workhorse, 92 speed, 91 acceleration, 6 foot 3. Uh, with elite edges, tape to tape, and close quarters. Speed is obviously really low at this point in the game, uh, but still very good size and some fun abilities if you are, again, looking for a, a team that can just kind of compete with the rest. Uh, not a bad option here either. Ben King from the Rebels in the WHL. He's got heart and soul as well as protector. Ankle breaker is one of the most useless abilities in the game. Snipe, again, not one that I would recommend either. And then unstoppable four. Six one isn't bad, and he's got decent face off and defensive ratings, but it's 92 skating, just awfully tough to use now all right we got our team of the year Sidney crosby 511 96 speed 96 acceleration he will get to 99 which would boost his acceleration speed up to 99 unstoppable force is great on this card because he is only 511 quick draw is awesome for the center portion close quarters is awesome i'm not a fan of backhand beauty tape to tape and elite edges you could activate all of these and uh you would have a hell of a card on your hand here so uh crosby does get his 98 morgan riley gets a team of the year or sorry team of the season card i keep doing that all release long 99 everything across the board with gold heat seeker spinorama no contest tape to tape seeing eye and third eye honestly awful synergy or awful superstar abilities but at 6'1 220 99 everything if you're a Leafs fan or just want a good left-handed defenseman this is it this is an awesome card no matter way what way you look at it all right Demko gets a team of the season as well goal post to post so obviously that makes him useful at six foot four I've never seen ex extra padding but advanced save ability and reaction time when facing slap shots I've never seen that, so, um, you know, maybe it was in the game or in EASHL. I hadn't seen it in Hockey Ultimate Team. Dialed in, not a huge fan of that. Sponge, okay, handle it, meh, and then light work is very good. So he does have a very good ability combo in Superstar, or sorry, in light work and post-to-post. -post. And maybe extra padding is kind of lit, who knows. All right, now let's talk about the sets, okay? Uh, because I, I don't know how many times i got to say this, but ea is so out of touch in the value that you guys have to pay so i just want to show or show everyone what they're going for so essentially if you want a 91 i'm just going to loosely base this on this okay if you want a 91 overall card this will get you four team of the season collectibles okay sorry if you set it to about eleven thousand uh coins that's what you're going to get it for so um uh, sorry for forty-five thousand coins but then that divided by four is 
you know, 11,000 coins. So we'll set it to 45,000. There's a few up. That's 11,000. That's at the lowest, right? 11,000 uh, coins per collectible. Uh, okay, that's phenomenal, all right? Let's, I mean, okay, that's, uh, you know, not, not awful. Well, let's go take a look at the NA sets real quick, all right? So it does appear that you can make Crosby as well as Morgan Riley. Uh, it appears you can't make Demko because he didn't have a special card earlier in the year which means that you just have to get lucky and pull him randomly uh in a pack that is only untradeable that you buy for 40 dollars, or you spend an exceptional amount of coins on the auction house even though it is april but fear not we've got crosby sets let's go take a look at this crosby set okay you turn in his 91 rivals card okay which is not very expensive in hindsight so that's not terrible right Eleven thousand, or sorry eleven thousand coins per uh, you're looking at a very expensive card uh, because it's going to cost you 55 of them. That's 605,000 for his team of the season with his rivals card on top. So let's go take a look and see if we can get his rivals card. Oh, 220,000. You're looking at 800,000 for Sidney Crosby. Uh, let's keep going. Mind you, this is near the end of the game, and I've got something to show you guys in just a little bit as well. All right, so now let's go Morgan Riley. He just got a 96 overall card. <laughs> if you have his master set. It's going to cost you 48 collectibles or 528,000 coins on top of the 96 overall card. Like, I don't understand how they can actually justify this because it just doesn't make any sense. And I know this isn't EA NHL. This is EA Sports and how they run their ultimate, ultimate teams, the economies that they run in the background. They don't take into account the state of the player base. Uh, and I want to bring something to your guys' attention real quick. All right, so this was posted on my Reddit, guys. Uh, by a username Towel Boot, and I might have shown this in a prior video, but I just want to go over it again here. Uh, this is every single week in the player count for Hawk for Hut Champs on PS5. So, which is the mo one of the most popular popular consoles? Maybe PS4 having a little bit more users. Xbox is far behind. 2,200 on the first week, and again, not everyone could qualify. It shoots up a little bit, getting to 3,600 by the time when they said there was an issue and there's compensation packs. Drops all the way down, and then January comes back, Christmas noobs come, and we've got our peak, well, really essentially our peak here, uh, right around January. It falls around down. New this is the NHL All-Star game, and then look at this free fall that happens. All the way, here's GWC, and here's the launch of MLB. We're looking at under 1,800 players. Yet, if you want to reward the hardcore players by being here, go and get a Team of the Season card, but you're going to have to pay well over a million and acquire cards that probably aren't on the market anymore. It's just, I don't understand, guys. Uh, it, it sucks for the hardcore player base, and maybe I'm a little too harsh on the game, but I really just don't agree with it at all. And again, I... I have full confidence that this is not EA NHL. This is NHL, or sorry, EA Sports and how they market and how their economies are set to work. And I just really don't like it. So uh, if I have a huge platform, as everyone says I do, maybe they will take a look at it and help us out in the future. But I doubt it. Regardless, guys, we did get some cool team of the year cards, team of the season cards today uh, with the Morgan Riley as well as the Sidney Crosby. Let me know if you think there's any other cards in the North America release that should get team of the year that hasn't. I'd be curious to hear from you guys. All right, that's going to do it. Have a good one.